Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a really awesome wallpaper like the one you're seeing right here inside of Adobe Photoshop. Now, it's going to be an Android themed wallpaper with a bunch of paint splats in the background, and it looks all cool like this. I'm going to show you how to make something like this inside of Adobe Photoshop. Now, you can use any version of Photoshop to do this, but I'm going to be using Adobe Photoshop CS4 to go ahead and uh, do this, but you can use any version of Photoshop that you want to. So, anyway, to go ahead and do this, you're going to need the last tutorial which I did was how to make the uh, Android Android logo inside of Adobe Illustrator. You can go ahead and find that tutorial by clicking the link in the description. Now why do we want to go ahead and use Illustrator to make the Android logo? Why don't we just use the normal Android logo? Well I like using Illustrator because it makes everything a vector image so that means no matter how big or how small we make it, it will stay the same and will not pixel up. So that's why I wanted to use Illustrator. And in that tutorial, I even showed you guys how to export Illustrator files to Photoshop documents. So that is what we're going to do. If you want to watch that video, the link will be in the description. So once you have your Android Logo Man made, what you're going to need to do this is you're going to need, of course, Photoshop, the Android Man, and then you're also going to need a couple of paint splatter brushes. So to get those, you can download them from this website right here, which I'll post in the description. Just click download right here. Go ahead and install the font, and then you're ready to go. And then you're going to also need the font that I used, which was this font right down here, as you see here. That font is called VTKS Urban Time, which you can download from here. Just go ahead, install the font, and then go ahead and um, have both of those, the brushes and the fonts, installed. And then you're ready to go. I'll post the links to all of these in the video's description. So once you have those done, the first thing we're going to do is open up our Android logo with Photoshop. So this is the Android logo that I made with the last tutorial, which I made with Illustrator. So now all we need to do is we need to import this in with our regular Photoshop document. But first, as you see here, we have two little white balls for his eyes. That was part of the tutorial that I did before. So we want to go ahead and uh, just uh, delete the eyes so that it doesn't have anything in the eyes. So that's something like this right here. So to go ahead and do that, as you see here in the layers, it has my stuff imported from Illustrator. As you see here, layer two was imported from my Illustrator document. And this group contains everything that was in the normal Illustrator document. So if I go ahead and uh, before I can do anything to this, what I need to do is I need to merge the group. So right click on it and go to Merge Group. Then once that's done, it has the group merged. And then I can go ahead and edit this. So to go ahead and poke out the eyes, what I want to do is go over here and select the Magic Eraser tool. Just go ahead and uh, do this. It says, could not use Magic Eraser because no layers are selected. <laughs> Select the layer, sorry. So go ahead and get the Magic Eraser tool and just click in. And then as you see here, the eyes are now transparent. And so that is all we need. So now that we have that done, we want to go ahead and create our new document. So first thing we're going to do is go to File, New, and go ahead and make it any size you want to. For this video, I'm going to use 1920 by, sorry, 10. Ah, I can't type today. 1080, which is going to be a high definition resolution. So once we have that done, just go ahead and click OK. And then as you notice, we have the big, big canvas right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I like to name everything. So if I just go ahead and show you guys my original Photoshop document, which was this right here. As you notice, I have everything named over here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to name the layer one. Oops, sorry. I'm going to name layer one BG for background. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my gradient tool and I'm going to set my gradient to have sort of a dark a black over here and then have a dark gray over here. Then I'm just going to select the background of course and I'm going to just click and drag up to the top to make sort of a gradient that looks like that. And that's good. So now I'm just going to go ahead and create a new layer. And then once I have that done, make sure the color is set to white and grab the brush tool. And now we're going to grab some of the brushes we installed before. So I'm going to grab this one and I'm just going to create some brush marks. So one over here is good, one over here is good, do one here, one here, do like one like right here, and then one up here. And maybe one in the middle too. And so see here we have all of that. That is to basically make sort of the uh, little white things that you're seeing in the background right there. So once you have that done, what you want to do is you want to create a new layer and you want to grab your brush tool again. And this time we want to grab one of these brushes, the soft edge brushes. So I'm going to grab like the size 300. And I'm actually going to change the foreground color of this to a yellow, surprisingly. 
And then we're going to size it up a little bit. So that looks about good. Now we're just going to click. And as you notice, it will make a yellow that looks like that. Now we want it to look sort of like this right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to lower the opacity of that. So keep it lower, keep it lower. That looks good, around 53. Now as you notice, all of the uh, white spots in the background are a little too bright. We're going to lower the opacity of those as well, maybe to like 37, so that it looks like that right there. And of course, I'm going to name my layers. So uh, white splat sounds good. And I'll make this yellow, just because it sounds good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. And then I'm going to grab my Android and drag it in. So, oopsies. Let's just go ahead and copy the Android and paste it in. Damn it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm just going to drag it in. Having little things wrong with Photoshop today. <laughs> so now I'm just going to size it down. That sounds good. And I'm going to put it in the center, which sounds cool. We just go ahead and uh, put that there. And uh, I'm not going to name it group. I'm going to name it Android. That's good. Now we don't need this Android, so I can just go ahead and close that out. So now that I have that, I'm just going to drag it, and I'm going to hide it. And now I'm going to go back to this layer right here, layer 1. And I'm going to name that Paint Splats. Once we're there in Paint Splats, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the brush tool. We're going to go back to the Paint Splat brushes that we downloaded. So I have a lot of brushes in here. We're just going to go ahead and search through these. So here are the ones I downloaded. So I'm going to use primarily this one right here. And I'm going to basically make a whole bunch of splats all over the thing. As you can see right here, a whole lot of splats, like right over the thing. So I'm going to start off with sort of a purple splat and just make my way down the color spectrum. So some splats there. Let's make some blue splats now. And I'm going to make some blue splats over here too. Make some light blue splats just because we like light blue. Make some green ones because you can't have Android without green. And do some yellow ones. So put some yellow ones in there. And then we're going to get some orange ones. Ooh, orange. I'm really talking weird today. Sorry, guys. And I'm going to add in a red one right there. So now that we have that, as you notice, it looks a lot like this. But as you notice, the ones there are dimmer. That's because I have them set to overlay with a low opacity. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set these to overlay. I'm going to change the opacity to something like, uh, let's say that. That's good. Now we can show the Android again. Now I'm going to go to the Android's blending options. And I'm going to give it a uh, inner shadow and a drop shadow just because and that will look good now we just click OK and now I'm gonna set that one to overlay and uh, let me just double check this back for reference so no no I had that set to normal oops oh well feel free to play around with these effects so that's good so make sure the Android's set to normal with those effects on and make sure you have the paint splats set over that and I'm going to make them a little bit more visible and then that's pretty much it now you can go ahead and play with the settings play with the paint the paint splats any way you want to obviously I didn't make them look good for this tutorial because I like the ones I had in this tutorial because you want to use sort of the dark ones but nevertheless I thought this still looked cool now the last thing we need to do is we need to create a new layer we need to select our text tool and we're going to select the font that we used and we're going to type in Android and I'm going to make it bigger so let's make it like 200 for this and uh, that should be good place it right down here I think I'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger a little bit bigger all right that looks good now I'm finally going to set that just to overlay and then there we go we have our Android wallpaper so I'm going to play around with some of the opacity settings and uh, I think that looks good. So yeah, so that's how we do it. You can go ahead and feel free to mess with the settings any way you want to. But nevertheless, I'm just going to go and save it. And uh, Android Wallpaper 2. And I'm going to save it as a 
PNG. Click save, click OK. And it will save soon. Sorry, guys. And now it's done. So that's pretty much it. That's how you make your very own grungy looking Android wallpaper inside of Adobe Photoshop. This is the final product that we got of this tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Feel free to go ahead and play with the settings any way you want to to get the best looking wallpaper you want to. And anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.